Hello everyone, I am going to look at the skills, the signature item, and the furniture, and engraving for the new Celestial Hero, Malkri. Um, so Malkri is also an agility-based hero. The class for Malkri is a ranger, and the primary role is continuous damage. So let's start by looking at the ultimate skill. We have Conquest Cyclone. Um, this has a passive ability to it. Malkri's normal attacks issue a challenge to enemy heroes, which cannot be dispelled. Enemies can only be issued one challenge, and enemies without a challenge will be given priority. And the active ability is when all enemy heroes are issued a challenge, Malkri unleashes her ultimate and zooms towards them, dealing damage for 8% of her max health, up to 260% of Malkri's attack rating, and consuming each enemy's challenge. This skill grants invincibility and can be triggered once every 5 seconds. When casting her ultimate, no energy will be consumed, but no additional energy can be obtained. And level 2 damage is increased to 10% of max health and cannot exceed 300% of Malkri's attack rating. And then level 3 it increases the damage of 12% and then the, um, cannot exceed 360% um, of Malkri's attack rating. Overall pretty unique, um, challenging the enemy heroes. I was, I was kind of hoping for um, a little bit more damage from this though but it can be triggered once every five seconds, so it can be triggered pretty often. And looking at the second skill, um, we have Battle Intel. Delivers one letter of intel to the ally with the lowest health percentage for four seconds. Each hero can hold one letter only. While holding intel, allied heroes avoid the first instance of direct damage or health loss every two seconds. And level two, um, when an allied hero receives intel, they um, resonate with Malkyrie, increasing their attack rating for 15% of Malkyrie's initial attack rating. Level 3, um, the duration is extended to 6 seconds. And level 4, Intel increases the allied hero's attack rating to 30% of Malkyrie's initial attack rating. So allowing um, the allied heroes to avoid the first instance of direct damage or health loss um, every 2 seconds, that sounds um, pretty powerful. But with the level 3, it does last for 6 seconds, so I'm assuming that means um, you'll only, you'll only do, the allied heroes will only do this for um, three times um, during that six second duration. Duration. I really like this buff too, um, increases the allied hero's attack rating to um, 30% of Malkyrie's initial attack rating with that level 4. And looking at the third skill, we have Rapid Vortex. Um, Malkyrie charges into the enemy side of the battlefield, dealing damage for 300% of her attack rating, knocking back enemies and creating a vortex that lasts for four seconds. This Vortex deals damage to enemies within range every 0.5 seconds for 160% of her attack rating and draws them towards its center. And level 2, the Vortex duration is increased to 6 seconds. Level 3, damage dealt per second by the Vortex is increased to 200%. And then we have the first engraving skill with level 4. Summoned units in the Vortex are instantly slain if their health falls below 80%. The Vortex damage sounds pretty good, um, increasing the duration of the Vortex to 6 seconds, um, plus the addition of um, the enemies being attacked by the Vortex every 0.5 seconds. Um, that should be able to do a lot of damage pretty quickly. Also increasing the damage of the Vortex to 200% instead of 160%, so doing even more damage with that Vortex. Also this um, engraving skill sounds very good. Um, I feel like this could be a pretty good counter to um, heroes like Rizal. Um, considering um, it, it doesn't take much um, to get their health below 80%, so it will instantly slain them if their health is um, below 80%. And looking at the um, final skill, we have Shadow Dodge. This has a passive ability. When Malkyrie suffers damage or health loss exceeding 8% of her max health, she becomes immune, consumes the nearest ally's intel, and teleports them, during which she cannot be targeted. This effect can be triggered once every 4 seconds. And level 2, after avoiding damage, Malkyrie deals additional damage to the nearest enemy hero. Uh, matching the type and amount of the damage avoided, this damage can no longer uh, or can be no greater than 300% of Malkyrie's attack rating. Level 3 Malkyrie um, deals additional damage to another enemy hero. If only one enemy hero is alive, the damage and um, the damage and the damage limit um, is doubled. And then we have um, the second engraving skill. When triggering additional damage, Malkyrie inflicts one challenge on the target enemy hero. If they already have a challenge, they are stunned for three seconds. So allowing her to avoid damage if her health um, gets below 8% for a little bit. I feel like that could go, that could happen pretty quickly if you're facing against heroes that are 
a, a much higher level than you are. And this triggers once every 4 seconds as well, so I feel like this could happen quite a bit. You can also um, deal damage to um, enemy heroes as well. And also with the second engraving skill, it will give um, a challenge to an enemy hero. Um, but if they already have a challenge, it will um, do some crowd control, so just a little bit of crowd control. In my opinion, I think the first engraving skill here is a lot better than the second engraving skill. But again, that's just my opinion here. And let's look at the signature item. So unlocking um, the signature item, Malkyrie gains 50 energy when she sends a challenge or intel. Every 100 energy increases her haste by 3 points. At plus 10 for every 100 energy possessed, haste received by Malkyrie is increased to 5 points. Plus 20 battle intel um, delivers an additional letter of intel, raising the limit to 2 letters. Plus 30 normal attacks issue an additional challenge, raising the limit to 2 challenges. And then remember, um, they did just increase um, the signature item cap, so we have a plus 40 signature item now. When Malkyrie's ultimate skill deals damage, each challenge the enemy possesses will reduce their energy by 50. I really like the haste increase for every 100 um, energy that um, Malkyrie gets. It doesn't look like there is a cap, so it looks like um, Malkyrie can gain pretty much an infinite amount of um, haste if she does gain a lot of energy. Also allowing this, um, this signature item to um, deliver two letters of intel also to um, give the enemies two challenges. Also allowing the um, enemy's energy to be reduced by 50 if um, Malkyrie uses her ultimate skill when they have that challenge. Overall sounds pretty good. Like I said, I really like that um, haste buff um, for every 100 damage Malkyrie receives. And let's go ahead and look at the exclusive furniture. So for the 3 of 3 at the battle start, Valkyrie immediately issues one challenge to all enemy heroes. So every en enemy will have a challenge right at the start, which sounds pretty good. And for the 9 of 9, for every 100 energy Valkyrie possesses, both her and allied heroes with intel gain 4 physical pierce points. So it looks like um, even more buffs to both Valkyrie and the allied heroes. Overall, um, this, the furniture sounds pretty good. And overall, the skills, um, her skills sound um, really good as well. Um, I'm especially, I'm especially liking the signature item, and I'm also liking that um, first engraving, engraving skill. So yeah, I, I feel like this could um, do a lot, especially um, for those heroes um, that um, do summon a lot of um, summon summoned units like um, Grizzle, like I mentioned. I feel like this could be a pretty good counter to that if it does work out very well. And overall, I feel like she could provide quite a bit of support to the allied heroes, while at the same time um, doing a little bit of damage in there as well. And if you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe to my channel. Also comment what do you think about Malkyrie, and there will be a video on screen that you did think you would like to watch next, so go ahead and click on that video right now. And thanks for watching.